We wanted to pass along a quick update on a story that we brought you earlier in the newscast. Unified Police reports that the missing 11 year old boy we told you about Kevin has been found and he is safe. That is good news. In other news, a new study takes a look at how women in Utah have fared during the pandemic. New at 5.30, Fox 13 Spencer Joseph breaks down the study and shows what women around the state have faced in a tough year. While it's important to understand the statistics of this pandemic, Dr. Susan Matson told me today it's even more important to let people know that they're not alone, and that's the main reason for this study. I think it's important as a state for us to do this kind of research specifically on Utah women to really see what's happening to not only women, but to families in the state. A new research and policy brief published today by the Utah Women's Leadership Project is looking specifically at how the pandemic has affected women in the state. So we've got a good feeling of kind of where women stand in terms of these issues. The brief outlined several categories, including how many women had dramatic change in employment during the pandemic. About 16 percent of women had really had a, a fairly large job shift. Also looking at burnout. Consistent burnout across women of different ages, um, even slightly more burnout with women of color. One of the more troubling stats was around the question, I am concerned about the onset or increase in violence in my home since the pandemic began. In our sample, we had about 9.2% of women actually state, which to me was a, a big percentage, state that they were worried or had experienced domestic violence in their home. Also showing that this will set women in Utah's workforce back potentially for years to come. But there's hope. The brief outlines that Utah state and local governments, along with workplaces, can implement policies that benefit women's recovery. And speaking of hope, the study found that women are becoming more hopeful about the future. That things are going to change, that their finances will be well. What is your message to those people that through this have, have really struggled? I would really say to them that there really is hope out there. And there's programs out there that really do help women retool, give opportunities. There are resources. Those resources can be found on our website. They include things like the Lieutenant Governor's new returnship program, as well as other resources posted by the Utah Women's Leadership Project. Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News.